Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares. Welcome to a brand new series called Positive Spin. Now this is where we're going to be taking a look at the most hated movies. Mostly horror, but some other genres as well. And basically putting a positive spin on it. These are not going to be reviews. These are just going to be us talking about what we liked about the film. And for our very first episode, we picked the very much hated Fog Remake from 2005. Now, this is the unrated edition. Joe and I both watched that. And it's an hour and 43 minutes. There is a theatrical version of it as well, which I don't believe I've ever seen. I know I don't have it. And that is an hour and 40 minutes. So there's a three minute difference. And the three minute difference is not really much to speak of. A little bit more violence, some more extended scenes, that's about it. Now, this was directed by Rupert Wainwright, and it stars Tom Welling as the character that Tom Atkins played in the original, Maggie Grace as the character that Jamie Lee Curtis played in the original, and Selma Blair as Stevie who was played by the lovely Adrian Barbeau. Now, that is probably the only time you'll hear me compare this to the original, because this is about looking at the hated film, The Fog, the remake, and telling you what I liked about it, once again. Now, I haven't seen this since, probably since it first came out. I probably got it, actually I can't remember where I got it from, but it was probably from Blockbuster even though it doesn't have that case. I might have replaced it, I'm not really sure. But I probably got it from Blockbuster when they were selling movies. Um, good old Blockbuster, yeah. And I watched it and haven't watched it basically since the first time I watched it when I got it. Throughout the years, I've heard so many bad things about this. I've heard that this is the worst remake ever made. Um, it completely sucks. Total crap. So on and so forth. And people say that, and after a while it starts to burn into your brain. Which is one of the reasons why we decided to do Positive Spin. Joe and I really wanted to rewatch The Fog. Just out of curiosity's sake, because it had been so long, you know almost 20 years, you know, 18 years, and we really didn't remember much about it. I remember Tom Welling driving around in a town in a pickup truck in the fog, <laughs> and that's about it. But yet, so many people talk so much crap about this movie, it kind of makes you think that you don't want to watch it. It kind of burns it into your brain. Let me just tell you that I was absolutely surprised by this movie, and I liked it a lot. <laughs> a lot. Now I'm going to tell you the stuff I liked about it. I liked the young cast. Um, Tom Welling, of course, was on Smallville. I thought he did a great job in this. Uh, Selma Blair, who played Stevie. Uh, the uh, DJ for Antonio. It's not called Antonio Bay anymore. It's called Antonio... Antonio Island or something like that. So she's the DJ and I thought she did a really good job. Um, it's actually a shame what happened to her. I don't know if you guys know, but she has MS pretty bad and it's done a number on her. But she was fantastic in this. Uh, Maggie Grace, again, fantastic. Uh, one of the things, well, there's a lot of things I like about this movie. I like the acting. I like the set pieces. I like the town. I like the fog, the way they did it. Okay? They did it with CGI, of course. And, you know, you have a feeling that it's going to be something like this with the faces and all that. But it's not really that way. It's done in a way that looks realistic. At least it did, in my opinion. Now... The use of color in this film was one of the things that really blew my mind. 
And even though the story was well done, and you could definitely tell the difference between time periods, they used a different set of colors for the different time periods. And I think that would probably be to help the audience tell the difference between what they were talking about in the past and, of course, the present. And the colors were green and blue. There was a lot of greens and a lot of blues in this movie. And I think they look fantastic. Now, the greens, of course, were to represent the present. The blues were a majority of the time to represent the past. I thought it was very well done. The story was fleshed out a little bit more as far as the, the past goes with the, um, the boat and the treasure and all that kind of stuff. This really shocked me because what I like in a remake... And movies like Mother's Day and all kind of lend itself to what I'm about ready to say. I like remakes that not only stick to the original source material, but then do something else with it. Like this had a lot of the original film in it as far as the story and all that, but it went further and it went in a little little bit of a different direction, and I loved it. I have no idea why this movie is hated. Now, this was originally a PG-13 film, and to be honest, I don't think that the extra scenes or the unrated version would make it a rated R. And I know I've heard a lot of people complain about horror movies that are rated PG-13. But you have to understand, when we did the Fangoria Challenge, a lot of those movies were rated PG. And they were very effective horror films. So I don't understand the problem with PG. Maybe it's because everybody wants the gore and everything else now. And I like that as well. But I also like a good story and movies that are done well. <clears throat> Now, Joe and I had talked about this, and I am thoroughly convinced. If you watch the original Fog, I don't want to compare movies, but everybody had a problem with this being PG-13. The original Fog was rated R. Why? It didn't have any nudity, hardly any language, and it did have gore, but not that much to make it a rated R film. So I'm not really sure why it got a rated R rating back then. In my opinion, it would have been PG-13 if it came out now. I guess things were a little bit more strict back then. But I had a great time with this movie. Don't listen to the hype. And that's what we're trying to... I mean, we're not going to like every movie as much as, of course, we like this one. This really surprised me. I've heard so many bad things about it. And like I said, I really didn't remember much about the movie. So seeing it after all this time was definitely a treat. Give this one another watch. Don't listen to everyone just say it sucks. If you have an opinion, back it up. Say what you don't like about the film. Saying it's one of the worst remakes ever, or this movie is complete crap, really doesn't Tell anyone anything. Say what you don't like about it. No movie's perfect. Definitely comment. And I appreciate you guys watching. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.